Redline Productions proudly presents... Hey YouTube. Well, thanks for joining me today. I want to show you guys a really, really cool car. Not a dealer car or anything, but this is a 2011 BMW X6. BMW labels this car as a sports activity coupe. Now, it's based off the X6's platform. It kind of reminds me of a, of a car that Batman himself would probably drive with the shape. Inside, it only seats four, so it's a really impractical car. Um, what you're buying is essentially this shape. This one is the 50i, which from the badge on the side, it would make you think that it's a 5 liter V8, which the actual owner of the car actually thought it was a 5 liter V8, but it's actually a 4.4 liter V8. It's BMW's new twin turbo 4.4 liter V8, pumping out 400 horsepower and 450 foot pounds of torque. So it's a fast, fast car. This particular one also has 19 inch wheels. You know, they're 19s, but I'm surprised they aren't 20s or 22s or something. They look good. I like the simplicity of it. It's very BMW. I also like that, that metal along the side, the side sill. Stepping into the interior, it does have your black interior. Uh, I love the carpet in here. The materials are just phenomenal in this car. No complaints whatsoever. You've got black leather seats. The carpet in here is really nice. Nice, uh, high quality, high quality graining. Now this one does come equipped with BMW's new key. Um, now it looks like you have to insert the key in here, but this one actually has the comfort access package, so you don't need to. All you have to do is put your foot on the brake, push the button to start. Whew, the sound of that V8 really uh, gets my blood flowing. Um, being a BMW, the doors sound like a bank full when they shut. Automatic up, down windows for all four of them, not just the driver from passenger. Uh, let me turn the stereo off. Now, in terms of the other interior materials in here, it's phenomenal. I mean, you got soft touch leather here, and I like the way this opens, actually. Um, the dashboard is all this really nice soft touch graining material. Soft touch there. I'm surprised, though. I'm thinking if that opens or something. But soft touch right here. You got your Harman Kardon sound system. I love the steering wheel in this car. I love the design of it. I love the paddle shifters of the 8-speed auto. Soft touch materials on the door panels. You got real wood and aluminum accents. It's all soft touch, even down here. It's all soft touch. Even down here, it's all soft touch. I mean, you expect this. This vehicle is like $90,000 brand new. So, I mean, you expect it to be the best, and it is the best. But, um... Moonroof in this vehicle. I'm surprised it doesn't have. Oh, I'm surprised it doesn't have a uh, panoramic roof, but still a really nice car. Now the back seat in this car is definitely where you are losing the versatility of the X5. It's only a four-seater, and you can see from the opening, you do have to duck your head when you get in. But once you get into the car, uh, the seat is actually really low, and the legroom is not bad, but the headroom in here is definitely a. Uh, going down just because of the coupe-like body. But it is only a four-seater and you get an armrest back here, a little bit of a little pass-through right there. But um, you got you actually have four-zone automatic climate control in here. So that's really nice. So really this car is only for three or for four people. See? So it's a four-seater. I mean it's a couples kind of car I guess. Going a long trip, going a couples couples of uh, road trip I guess. Um, the door panels in here in the back all follow through. You have these really nice privacy screens, it's all soft touch, even down here it's all soft touch, so they didn't cheap out anywhere in the materials back here. No spare tire in this car, it may have run flats, but I like how this is this is actually uh, hydraulically lifted. That's really nice, you got your cargo cover right here, but it's definitely been compromised over the X5, so. But anyways, to close it, the lift over, actually also the load floor is pretty high up, so a few shorter people are gonna notice that. To close it, push that button there and it'll close for you. Really nice car. I like the way it closes too, it's really, really fast. And a really mean sounding V8. Now this is BMW's new 4.4 liter twin turbo V8. It makes 400 horsepower and 450 foot pounds of torque. It really moves this big SUV with a lot of authority, despite the fact that it weighs so much. And there you go, this car, this color is called Black Sapphire Metallic. I was wondering what the color was called, but really nice. I love how it has dual hinges, typical of European cars. But a really fantastic engine. Now the steering in this car is really heavy, typical BMW heavy. 
but it has really good feel. It's very precise for such a big vehicle. I mean, this thing weighs a lot, but it feels a lot smaller than what it actually is. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. I don't think I felt a car that accelerated so quickly. I mean, you feel that torque, 450 foot pounds of torque right off of idle, essentially. That is insane. For how big this kind of vehicle is, that's ridiculous. Wow. Wow. I would get way too many speeding tickets in this kind of a car. You have to really be careful with the throttle. There's so much power. Like, I've never experienced such a rush of power. I mean, it's crazy. And it doesn't even have any turbo lag. But anyway, anyways, enough about how fast this car is. Uh, the ride is actually really good, surprisingly, despite the fact that it has 19 inch wheels, a really stiff suspension, it soaks up the bumps really well. The steering is really responsive, precise. The handling is pretty sharp. I'm surprised at how uh, good this car is to handle. Just, I mean, cause it's a huge car, it's heavy. It's really heavy. That is intoxicating. <laughs> it's really ridiculous. But let me show you guys another acceleration clip because that is just insane how fast this car is. The eight speed automatic in here is fantastic also. I've never driven, this is my first time driving a car with eight speeds also. Try dropping it into sport mode and see how that makes a real difference. Wow, wow. The sport mode in this car is just really intoxicating. So let me show you guys what it's like to drive with the paddle shifters. I'll put it into manual mode here. Okay, so you push like this to, to upshift. Or you push this way to, up, to downshift and then pull it to upshift. So you can use it either other way. crap <laughs> it's like where are the laws of physics here bmw has totally just like thrown them out the window for this kind of power and this big of an suv that's insane i mean now i can see why bmw's charge a premium i mean they're they cost often about ten five to ten thousand dollars more than the competition and there's a reason and i see that reason now <laughs> Like that is ridiculous. This car is so fast. What's impressive too is the gas mods that BMW actually can get out of this 4.4 liter twin turbo V8. I mean, this engine is essentially gonna be the engine in the M5 and it's a honey of an engine. But anyways, guys, if you're in the mark, one of the lucky few who can afford this kind of a car, the X6, wow. Um, enjoy the exclusivity because it's a really nice car. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. Have a great day. All videos are filmed with permission by a professional driver on a set course with the collaboration and assistance of local law enforcement authorities. Do not attempt. Logos and brandings of vehicle manufacturers, dealerships, and online social media sites are the sole property of their respective representation used with permission. The To The Red Line logo, soundtrack, and web resources, as well as all other associated media are copyrighted intellectual property of To The Red Line LLC. All rights reserved.